When it comes to talking about Saluki energy levels, we tend to joke that Salukis have only two speeds and one is couch potato and another one is 70 km per hour and there is absolutely no in between. And also that's mostly a joke. There is some truth to that and Salukis have what I like to call a really good off switch, which means that uh, like uh, when you give them options to be active and run, they are happy to do that and they can do it for hours and hours. But uh, as soon as you're at home, they just plop down on the couch and they're happy to spend their whatever amount of time. So that's a really nice uh, characteristic that Salukis have. Historically, Salukis were used for gazelle hunting and it would work in the way that hunters would take Salukis on their camels and they would ride out and only let their dogs run when they actually needed to chase the uh, gazelles and also Salukis are the only dogs that in Islam are allowed to be in the house so those were highly revered dogs they were like princely dogs that got all sorts of uh, kingly attention and I think that really contributes to this uh, issue that the uh, Salukis are able to really explosively run outside and do that for hours and hours because Salukis are marathoners, not uh, sprinters. They can keep up their high speeds for great times, but they can also simply like chill at house. And I'm really, really happy for the fact that Salukis have kept this characteristic. It's a really nice thing to live with a dog who is able to chill at house at the same time able like being outside going with you hiking and doing all sorts of sports or just being really active with you meanwhile not being too destructive at the house. By the way Salukis are the fastest dog breed in the world over longer distances. Uh, the fastest speed that has been ever registered for Saluki is uh, 69 kilometers per hour and that's a crazy speed and they can really keep up that speed for hours and hours and hours and yes like the greyhounds have registered speed of 72 kilometers per hour but for example greyhounds wouldn't be able to keep up with salukis for longer periods of time and also that's only three kilometers difference so yeah for me basically salukis are the fastest dogs in the world in general most salukis would be okay-ish with the regime where you basically don't do anything for two weeks you just go outside for leashed walks potty and then just chill at the house and then uh, once per two weeks go out for really like off leash running or for higher activity they would be okay with that, although I really can't recommend that. I don't think that any dog would be really, really happy with that. But like if uh, something happens or like if you take ill or if a bloody plague happens and suddenly you can do all your usual stuff, it is an option for Salukis and they adapt quite easily for that. However, if you want to do, for example, a coursing with your Saluki, that's absolutely not an option because you need to keep your dog in a really, really good shape. And if you only go coursing with your dog like once every two weeks, once per month, and don't do anything physical with him in between, that poses a really high health risks and you absolutely shouldn't do that. Just because Salukis are able to just uh, chill at house for really really long periods of time doesn't mean that they don't have lots of energy. They can simply just somehow like conserve it and just push it somewhere deep inside. What I'm trying to say is that stamina and energy is not the same. As I mentioned Salukis can keep up physical activities for really really long times. Like they can be outside all day running, hiking, a friend of mine is sometimes doing rock gaining with uh, his Saluki in like 20 kilometers for Saluki. He's just barely warmed up basically. And other people are running, running. And other people are running canicross with their dogs. I'm running agility with my Saluki. So they can be really, really active and they have huge amounts of energy. Like uh, my Lamora can easily keep up with my Parson Russell Terrier, who is just really crazy high in energy and Lamora can just easily keep up with her and he has absolutely no problems to just go out and keep running the whole day. Also in general your average Saluki is really happy to be just 
chill and laid back and be your glorious couch ornament. However, there is anecdotal evidence that the saluki is from uh, coursing lines or from the lines where there are more of the desert blood in, inside them, like desert meaning like more working dogs from the east. Uh, those uh, Salukis have way more energy than your average Salukis that would come from a show line. I'm saying that in uh, Lamor and in several other Salukis that I know and that I've read about. Lamor for the longest time was absolutely not a chill Saluki to the point where at, be at the beginning we were like jokingly asking like is he really a purebred Saluki you know is that really Saluki because he was just going berserk in the house he wanted to work all the time he needed all sorts of activities he couldn't settle down he was chewing everything until he was like year and half or almost two years old but I'd say that at a year and half he started like calming down and now he's just absolutely okay with just uh, sleeping all day at the house and, and then we should go outside and he can play and run and we can do agility but like for the first time I really needed to teach him to settle down because he didn't have that integral characteristic that I were expecting from Saluki that he would have that off switch and he would just settle down. But even my breeder said that uh, Lamora Slitter has been way more active than uh, usually she's used to seeing Saluki. So L Lamora is a really, really outliner of that uh, spectrum where Saluki should be on energy wise. And it worked really nicely for me because I really wanted a higher energy Saluki so I were going for that coursing line it's just that even with me going for that coursing line he actually surprised me at how way more energetic he was than I were expecting but it was something that I were willing to work on and we are having a really nice uh, life because I can provide him with all sorts of activities like off-leash running and agility but like if you're not willing to do some really, really super active stuff with your dog, uh, you shouldn't be looking at the coursing lines in your Saluki. The good part about Salukis is that even when they have all this pent up energy that they haven't spent yet for whatever reason, uh, they don't usually tend to get destructive. Like you can sort of rely on your Saluki not destroying your favorite couch. However, they would get stressed and they would be all those stress behaviors or howling or uh, Lamora is really prone to whining a lot when he has too much energy and be, when he hasn't got all the excitement or um, like activities that he would want to do. But in general, that's a really nice characteristic of Saluki is that they usually aren't too destructive, like apart from Lamora chewing on pens and my knitting needles, which I have to stash away from him. Um, he hasn't really destroyed anything in the past years. And even when he was this super active puppy, he didn't actually destroy on anything or he wasn't trying to like chew on, on couch or, or chairs or anything like that. Of course, there can be exceptions to every rule, but in general, Salukis don't tend to be too destructive. Your daily life with Saluki, of course, will be very different from family to family. Um, I just want to give a quick rundown with uh, my usual routine with uh, Lamora when there is not bloody plague going on. But keep in mind that this Saluki is on a really, really active end of Saluki spectrum. And usually I wouldn't hear Saluki is doing as much. However, there are examples how the uh, with people who are just doing so many amazing things with their dogs and I just keep looking at them and, and keep going oh my god I wish I had energy to do all that amazing stuff with my Saluki. So in general Lamora would have uh, two or three agility trainings per week, one uh, basic obedience uh, group training per week and then on the weekends we would either go to agility competition or we would go hiking or off-leash running. However right now when we're in the stupid bloody plague and it has been really really cold outside uh, for the past month or two we haven't done almost anything of that like uh, I have been going to the agility hall to just give my dogs a chance to 
freely run but we haven't been training and of course the obedience training is completely off and we also can go uh, to the off-leash walks with my friends which is the saddest thing ever and I just can't wait this bloody plague to be over but right now I'm actually really lucky that Lamora has matured so much and he's adapting quite nicely to this really really sedate lifestyle I try to keep him entertained, I try to give him all sorts of enrichment and I always allow my dogs to play in the house. I know that other people don't like their dogs to play in the house and that's completely up to you. I prefer my dogs to have this outlet, I allow them to play, they have tons of toys and they can like play either by themselves or they play to go bar or I play with them in the house. So that's uh, one way how they like keep their stress levels down. But uh, yeah, in general, that's how our general routine would look and that's what our life right now looks like and I'm really really grateful that I right now have two mature dogs who aren't going completely crazy with all the inactivities that we are doing and with all the like sudden change from our very very active lifestyle when there wouldn't almost be a day when we stay at home and now we're staying most of the time at home and we are not even going outside for for runs and it's really weird for me it feels weird but well we're managing and i'm i don't know overall i'd say that uh, this uh, change in our daily pace actually really well illustrates saluki's ability to adapt to the situations uh, energy wise and uh, so i'd say that saluki's can be quite okay with a more sedate lifestyle with uh, not uh, playing not running so much if they are given enough chances to like spend their pent up energy once in a while and of course the more you do the better but then again your saluki won't be the unhappiest dog in the world if suddenly you don't have this chance or if suddenly something happens or if for a while you can't go out and then you again get back to your more active routine so look is a really good at adapting to that lifestyle thank you for watching this video till the end i really appreciate your support and if you would like to reinforce my video making habits please like this video and i'll see you next week